as it looks like on the on the verified teams leaderboard we've got all the gold projects up the top i imagine if we scroll down we'll see silver and then bronze it's sorted based off uh their tier of kyc badge and then tangentially their security score as well so obviously kyc is one of the factors within the security score um, so here you'll see the transition from the gold projects over to the silver projects and again just because a project is silver doesn't mean it's not trusted but it's uh you know, just a mi medium tier of, of that high level of trust within our rigorous process. Um, and then here you can see the projects that transition over to bronze. This really arose out of a need where we saw users turning to our audits as a guarantee for a project to not uh, rug pull. And, you know, what we realized is an audit is a security assessment. Sometimes it's very difficult for us to guarantee um, a project's accountability and level of security. So there's, you know, not that much skin in the game just because you've been audited. But with the KYC, it's a team level verification. So what it implies is that a team has passed this rigorous background check and at the same time they verified themselves. So if they were to rug pull or do something suspicious, you know, we have their identity and we can hold them accountable. Um, so that level of skin in the game, I think is critical. And for users to be able to find these projects that have gone through this voluntary process and put in the effort to you know, show their trustworthiness um, this is really a platform to showcase that and connect those two groups. In addition to the leaderboard itself, they can see on the right-hand side a little bit more information about our KYC. So you can see projects that have recently completed their KYC. You can learn a little bit more about what CERTIC KYC is about and how the process works. And then we also have our resources section here. So a lot of our KYC investigators are also writing insights blogs and they're talking about their experience, their learnings, some thought research into the overall KYC ecosystem. We recently had a two-part series on KYC actor industry. So within Web3, there are a lot of actors that come and pretend to KYC on behalf of projects. And we've caught a couple of those. So, you know, that level of insight and experience is something that users can also access on the KYC leaderboard.